To make a buttonhole, we need our one-step buttonhole foot. This accessory can be found in your removable storage compartment. To use this foot, you will see a button illustration at the top. Pull on that so it comes out. Place your button inside and press down so that it is snug. This means that the machine will make a buttonhole perfectly sized for your button. I need to mark where I'm going to sew the buttonhole on my fabric. So I'm going to place the button on my fabric where I want the buttonhole to be. I need to mark the bottom of the buttonhole, which is where it will start sewing. Then I will use my ruler to make a line in the middle. This is just to help me keep my fabric straight when I put it under the buttonhole foot. Now I just need to select my stitch and sew it out. I'm going to remove my all-purpose foot. And snap on my one-step buttonhole foot. To select the buttonhole, go to your stitch selector dial and move it to the icon that looks like a little buttonhole. Go up to your stitch length dial and move it to this little buttonhole icon. So it will stitch out my buttonhole. Then come up to the stitch width dial and move it to the number six. Now we have one last thing to do before we actually start stitching. The last thing we need to do before we stitch out our buttonhole is lower the buttonhole lever located to the left of your presser foot and push it back. Now we're ready to start sewing. I'm going to place my fabric next to my presser foot and line up the bottom line so that it will be under this hole. Now I'm going to lower the presser foot and start sewing. When you've reached the bottom bar tack, turn the hand wheel towards you so that the needle is in the highest position. Raise the presser foot and here is a perfect buttonhole for your button. If you want to make more buttonholes, just push this lever back and you're ready to go again. To finish off our buttonhole, get a hand sewing needle and that last thread, push it through to the other side and tie it off. Now to open it up, use a pin and stab it through the top. This protects the upper bar tack so that we don't cut through it. In your accessory tray, there's a seam ripper and it's also super useful for opening buttonholes. Place it at the bottom and work your way up. Remove your pin. And ta-da! A fully functioning buttonhole. To make your stitches further apart on your buttonhole, you want to be on the left side of this buttonhole icon on your stitch length dial. In the middle of the icon, they start to get closer together. And when you are on the right of that buttonhole icon on your stitch length dial, your stitches are very close together.